you're in Oregon, come to Battery on Deck. Best corn dogs in the PBX. And I can vouch for that. I love me some Isaiah Fostick. He has the best corn dogs in the Tornado Potatoes in town. Don't forget the punch. He got the best food. I'm telling you, your pregnancy cravings will be met if you stop by Batter on Deck. I put on for the town, keep the city litty. I know my city got love the way they rockin' with me. Hi, I'm Isaiah Bostic, owner of Batter on Deck. And Batter on Deck is a food truck in Portland that consists of various corn dogs and potatoes. Items we have is a tornado potato. It's a whole potato on stick, deep fried. And you add your various toppings from Philly cheese steak, bacon cheddar, chili cheese, hot Cheeto, buffalo chicken, or you can just get it seasoned. And then for the corn dogs, we have hot links, Polish dogs, jumbo beef, chicken sausage, and chicken and turkey franks. Corn dog is a hot dog dipped in batter and fried, and then greatness. <laughs> the most popular item is for the corn dogs, I would say the hot link. The hot link is a spicy pork sausage. The hot link is definitely more spicy than the average corn dog, especially the ones I have. The longer you cook them, the hotter they get. For me, the perfect corn dog has it has a sweet batter, not too sweet, but crunchy, not too crunchy, soft on the inside, golden brown. Is there enough in the um, corn yeah. dog to use? So my wife, she actually been working with me for the last three months. And it's actually, I like the operation we have going on. I feel like it's an art in anything, even just dipping the corn dog. Like, I have had a couple people work with me. They can't really dip. They're like, man, how do you get it to look like this? So now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do the hot link corn dog. This is the most popular corn dog on the menu. So what I'm gonna do first is stick it all the way to the top. One of the things I do that a lot of people don't do is fry the dog before I batter it. So I like to use Zinner's hot links. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It's an organ crafted uh, hot link. When it gets start floating to the top, that's typically gonna tell me it's about ready. Get all that excess oil off. Get it all the way deep down. So I like to cover the whole dog. Kind of dip it up and down. Uh, I'm looking for color, a golden color. And that's when I know it'll be done typical. I'll make this one a special one too. This hot link, I'm gonna turn into a chili dog. It's a little different. Put it right down the middle. Open up the whole hot one. Take a scoop of chili. Then I like to use, of course, Tillamook. It's one of my favorite cheeses to use. Sour cream. Then somebody might ask, yo, can I put some bacon on it? And this is the hot link chili corn dog. I want to do something that I have fun with, something that I like. I love corn dogs as a kid, so I wanted to see how I could get other people to love them. And I heard numerous times, like, this is the best corn dog I ever had, you know? So that right there, hearing that type of thing, is super dope to me, you know? Did you try the hot link? Not yet. If you don't get the hot link, I'm telling you, I harassed them like my whole pregnancy for a hot link, okay? I be calling, can you drop my stuff? I'm on a time crunch. So my cart is in uh, Gresham, Oregon. I used to live in Northeast Portland growing up. That's where a lot of people live, which is close to downtown, the Rose Garden, uh, which is the Motor Center where the Blazers play. It's 8.30, just left Beaverton. Um, my typical day, I'll leave here. But it's about a 30 minute drive, 30 minute drive from um, Beaverton to Gresham. Portland, man, I it's beautiful, man. Let's we'll start there, green. The weather is crazy, but I love Portland, man. It's uh, it's diverse. It's a lot of people. The community I grew up in, a lot of us know each other. Even in the food industry, I have a lot of friends that have food trucks and stuff now. I'm a super people, people person, man. I love people. Just seeing all these different faces at my cart, people that I grew up with. Shoot, man, you know, I told you I was kind of in the street life when I was younger. I have even seen people that I um, previously had beef with come up to my car, like when I was young, <laughs> and come up to my car like, hey, what's up, man? And I'm like, I'm surprised, shocked, but I'm happy at the same time. When I was mm, 
20, 19 years old, got in trouble. Me and some friends got caught up doing some things we weren't supposed to be doing. It cost me three years of my life. Like, this is not life for me, you know? I was thinking, like, I'm going to do something. That's when I had a lot of time to think of what I wanted to do. It didn't, and of course, when I got out, it didn't happen right away. You know, it took me uh, a long time working for numerous companies and figuring out that that's not even a life I want to live either, you know? I always had this driving me to want to start my own business. And man, my dad, rest in peace, today is his birthday too. Happy birthday, dad. But my dad was, uh, that's all I seen him do, um, was a grind. I never seen him work for anybody, but we had everything we needed, you know? And I think that was my, was my drive, watching him do the things he did. Business. The process of a tornado potato is every morning I have to go and poke about 40, 50 potatoes to start with. I swirl them and then I put them all in a big cooler. So this is the famous tornado potato mechanism. I have a handheld machine and you kind of just poke it in there and you kind of just spiral it and it comes out on the other side and it's already on the stick. And then when I'm ready for when somebody orders, it's already spiraled and then throw it in the grease and it should take about maybe five minutes for each, for each one. I cook up all my steak and kind of in the morning, my steak, chicken, and bacon. I cook everything in the morning to make the process easy as well. So what I do first is I lay a base and I start with the sour cream. It's not just sour cream, it's my special oil sauce. Then I put a little bit of provolone cheese on the top. I add the steak, and then this is where you get crazy with the cheese. Again, my favorite part. I've never seen a Philly cheesesteak like this. Then I like to add for the topping, and that is the Philly cheesesteak tornado potato. Uh, the stick is technically 16 inches. Potato about 15. So I try to tell people sometimes because they come up and they'll be like, I get a Philly cheesesteak. And I'm like, so you know it's not a, a typical Philly cheesesteak, right? And they're like, what you mean? Majority of the time it's like, all right, that sounds good. Let me get it anyway. And so never had any complaints, you know? I got the hot Cheeto. I got the hot link. The hot link is my favorite. I've been coming here since they opened. I've been rooting for my buddy. I've been knowing him over 20 years of my life. He's inspiring me to step out into the food world. Uh, me and my lady were doing our thing too. I had a food cart about six years ago. And at first, I, the only thing I had was, uh, I had french fries and corn dogs. Same exact corn dogs that I have now. It didn't work out too well because um, didn't, as a business person, I was young, didn't dot all my eyes across all my teeth, so it didn't work that long. Me and my brother was on the phone, and I asked him had he, had he ever had a hot wing corn dog. And he was like, no, I never had anything in a corn dog but a hot dog. A few weeks later, there's a tournament in Portland. It's a um, sport called mushball. Kind of like softball, it's a little different, a little bit different rules. Me and my brother, I was like, what's up, man? You want to try to go and set up and sell some? Like, you know? And he was like, let's do it. We went out there, did it the first day. It was terrible. <laughs> I didn't know my temperature, like how hot everything was supposed to be. The batter was falling off in the grease. I packed up everything, went back. I was like, I can't do this again. That was embarrassing. Then I found a recipe, but then I, I was like, I like this, but I don't. So I kind of added my own things to the batter. So we went back the next day. It was a way better day. The corn dogs were, uh, they tasted way better. They fried all the way through. And we ended up selling out everything that next day. And everybody started telling me how good it was and I should do it, I should get a truck. Jumped on it, that's when batter, on, batter up. It used to be called batter up at first too. That was before the tornado potato, and that's when we went to batter on deck. When I knew it was going to be a successful business, uh, when I was on the news first, the next day after the news clip, I had a line all the way, like the longest line I've ever had, like since I've been doing this. In that moment, I was like, man, I'm on to something. <laughs> like, I think I think I got it. It's hard to uh, just even just building the the menu and 
your day to day having to clean up and it's just it's not it's tiring you know it's super tiring but i signed up for it you know so it's it's not like it's a bad thing it's a good time i'm, I'm tired but it's i'm happy because i used to be tired for somebody else company a long time ago you know working um graveyard for the marriott and graveyard for nike so if i'm gonna be tired i'm gonna be tired for me and better on day <laughs> <laughs>